I'm out here in a wheat field today. You know, we're getting ready to do a, a trial, I guess you could say. We're getting ready to do a competition. You know, AgriLiquid's got this competition thing going with all the extreme ag guys. And, you know, they, they were sitting there thinking, you know, nobody's ever done wheat. So I told them I'd try the wheat and see how we can do. And, you know, we pulled soil test already on this field. Uh, we sent them off. And I'm going to be partnered with Rob with AgriLiquid. Kelly's going to be partnered with Miss Stephanie. And Galen's going to be partnered with Temple. And I'm pretty sure Galen's going to have the... Uh, upper hand in the deal because you know temple always says he's the best wheat grower in the group so we're going to see how he does on this deal we're here in west tennessee we just got uh, about 12 to 14 inches of rain about in the last week on this wheat here so overall it looks really good the flag leaf starting to come out in the next few days it'll be fully uh fully emerged out of it and so we're getting ready to do a, a late season fertility plot out here we're going to see what we can do with it and you know, it's going to be a, a very good learning process for me because we've always kind of treated our wheat one standard way all the way across. We've put tissue samples in the past, but if we get something low, we just kind of treat everything that way. This this way here, we've already came out and we pulled some tissue samples and the strips where we're going to do each plot. And then we're going to sit there and apply the products that every group came up with. And we're going to see who's going to get the best response. On top of the best response on the tissue sampling, it's all going to come down to the ROI at the end, who makes the most bushels and had the less product going into it. And we had a we had a budget in place. I believe it was a $30 budget. We're all going to try to stay under that $30. Some of us were a lot less than $30. Some of us closer to that. And it's going to come down who can put the most bushels on, it looks like to me. So we'll see how this goes. You know, maybe maybe uh, me or Kelly will pull ahead of Temp on this and see what's going on. You know, I'm sure Kelly will think this is some awesome looking wheat for some forage. You know, he'd be all about raising some cows out here and the cows graze this all winter. But, you know, we don't do that right here. And so far this week's uh, made it through a hailstorm or two. And like I said, about 14 inches rain over about a four day period. So it looks great. We'll see what happens. And, you know, I'm going to say next week we're going to be putting out some applications on this to see what we can do with this wheat crop.